Maritime Made on Eastlink is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc., helping companies large and small grow through export. In the small village of Matagan, Nova Scotia, big things are happening in building innovation. At JD Composites, they're innovating building structures using recycled plastic bottles. JD Composites is about a company we started, Joel German and myself, David Sonier, to create and make things out of 100% recycled plastic because whether you want to admit it or not, we are in the middle of a war on plastic. So what, what excites me the most about this material and the finished product is that the more we get it out there, and believe me, the, the contracts are starting to come in on a regular basis for residential homes here in Nova Scotia. When the knowledge of the effectiveness and, and the energy efficiency get out there, people are gonna realize how much money they can save. And if you're ecologically minded, how you're helping the war on plastic. So I think those two things combined, one of the two biggest issues on the planet is housing and plastic waste. So we're hitting the two of them on the head with this solution. Using a material called Armacell, JD Composites is designing and building monolithic structures that reach an efficiency rating of R30. This new material was invented by a Belgian company called Armacell. It's a closed cell foam that's made entirely of recycled plastic bottles. It's delivered in panels of different sizes and thicknesses. Although it was invented to be used in the boat building and aerospace industries, the true innovation at JD Composites has been to figure out how to use Armacell to build homes. Their patent pending home building process serves their goal of building near indestructible, energy efficient homes and joining the war on plastic. The material used to build this home used over 650,000 plastic bottles. The innovative part of, of rural Nova Scotia isn't, isn't the new story. Um, Nova Scotia has been well known for many years now of sparking little innovative and big innovations in every nook and cranny of the province. So we're just proud here at JD Composites to be uh, on the map as being an innovative company using this material for the first time in a SIP panel for residential home construction, which we were the first. We built the first one in the world last year. Owner David Salnier designs the floor plans for houses in 2D. Then the structural drawings are made 3D using CAD software. The technical specifications for each wall panel are generated here and then loaded into the CNC machine where the raw material will be cut. With the CNC program set, a panel is loaded onto the vacuum bed. The tool is selected and begins cutting and edging the panel according to the program. This foam panel weighs about 50 pounds. It's light, but it's strong. Today, panels are being cut for a new home. It will take about two months to create all the panels and beams. Next, fiberglass is cut. The material is rolled out, measured, and cut to size. There will be lots of fiberglass cutting done because each foam panel needed for their next house project will need to be laminated with several layers of fiberglass. Layers of fiberglass are applied by hand right here in the shop. Laminating the plastic foam panels with layers of fiberglass increases the strength of the foam exponentially. The strength of fiberglass reinforced plastic, or FRP, is stronger than some metals. In fact, FRP is just as strong as steel, but FRP is less flexible, more insulating, and more durable. A lot of my motivation to pursue this innovative product is watching the news every day and realizing how much of a mess our planet is actually in right now. Um, they've, they've found microplastics at the bottom of the Marianas Trench and also top of Mount Everest. So we're surrounded by plastic products. There's way too much of it, so we're not, a, we're not promoting plastic, but we are promoting a use for the plastic waste, which is a bigger issue than the actual plastic because there's too much plastic waste. Some smaller buildings made by JD Composites are assembled in the shop. These are waste oil buildings for the boating industry. This building innovation is especially useful in harsh environments along the coastline. 
as they don't rust, leak, or rot. These structures have been tested and proven to withstand winds well over the force of a Category 5 hurricane. This beach house was their first proof-of-concept project and garnered attention from all around the world. It took three months to build all the panels in the shop, one day to assemble the walls on site, then two days to put the roof on, and three weeks to laminate all the seams. ICF, or insulated concrete foam construction, was used to build the foundation. The exterior siding is 99% recycled aluminum, which is screwed directly into the panels with no strapping required. This next house build used 560,000 plastic bottles to make the structural panels. The house needed only 39 large panels for the walls and 10 panels for the roof. This house takes full advantage of the innovative technology, which doesn't require siding, as the panels are their own vapor barrier, siding, and insulation, all in one. The roof doesn't require shingles and can support a rooftop patio or container gardening. Because the panels are structurally reinforced with fiberglass, the finished panels offer an insulating rating estimated at R30 and no other insulation is needed. With this construction, the walls are laminated to the floor using fiberglass and epoxy resin. In the same way, the walls are laminated to each other and to the roof panels. The windows and doors are installed directly into the panels with no frames required. To eliminate any thermal bridges for maximum efficiency, there are no holes in the building envelope other than the doors and windows. Even the plumbing and electrical utilities are accessed through a conduit under the concrete floor that extends to the outside. The success of this building innovation has been featured in Forbes magazine, Fast Company, and Popular Mechanics. It became quite apparent to us that we were possibly an industry disruptor in construction. A big part of our future plans definitely includes export because we consider it a fuel for our company. It'll, it'll help promote us in our innovation and we can stay ahead of that innovation curve.